Hey, everybody, we've got some brief uh, information we want to share with you, some update on a recent video that is now circulating, showing some more information regarding the attack on First Lady Noelle Jones's wife, Loretta Jones. Uh, so I'm going to share this video with you real quick. I'm going to do that right after I play my intro. We'll be right back. Welcome to the Juice Radio Talk Show. 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 Reality TV, church free news. Let's talk happy love and marriage lifestyle. Come and talk with us. Come and share with us. Come and laugh with us. Come on and pray with us. COVID special guests, you should be following your lead. Bless, subscribe on YouTube, listen on podcasts. We live on IG and Facebook. This episode is sponsored by Truth and Triumph Ministries. Hello, everybody. Thank you for coming back to the Juice Radio and Talk Show. Listen, you guys, um, there's been a lot of information circulating regarding the attack on Bishop Noel Jones's wife, First Lady Loretta Jones. Uh, we covered this conversation on our Thursday night church news. If you missed that episode, I have put the link in the description of this video so you can go back and watch that. There is a new footage or another footage that's just coming out. Uh, it's going to give some more information on this. A lot of people were saying, where did this take place? Uh, was it in the sanctuary, outside the sanctuary? They were trying to get a lot more information. Uh, there is a video now that is circulating on Facebook. I am going to go ahead and play this video for you. At the time that we did our video, when we did our church news, we did not have this information. We are just getting this information. There have been a lot of people that have a lot to say on both sides of this. And so I want you all to be very understanding and know that everybody's going to have their own opinion about this situation and this story. There's been a lot of talk also regarding mental health. We are not diagnosing, nor are we saying that the lady that attacked Bishop Noel Jones has been diagnosed as mental illness because we're not her doctors. We're not able to do that, but we are saying that there was a disagreement, something that happened that led to this attack. We have not found out the full story as to why, but there's a lot of people that have a lot of opinions as to what's going on. I'm gonna go ahead and try and keep this video brief and short. Um, as I give this video to you, I also want you to be aware that I've been checking uh, First Lady Noel Jones's, uh, First Lady Loretta Jones's uh, Instagram page to see if she's been posting anything. I have not seen a post yet. The last post that I saw on her Instagram page was a post that she posted on the 12th. And on that video, she showed that her husband, Bishop Noel Jones, had gifted her with a beautiful bouquet of flowers. Now, that was the day before this incident happened on that following Sunday morning. So there is that video as well on her Instagram page. Now, the following Sunday, after she received the beautiful book, book, bouquet of flowers from her husband that she posted on her Instagram page, that following Sunday is when this assault and attack took place. So I'm going to go ahead and share this. I do have my fair use banner up. I am not the originator of this video, so I am going to give credit to the person that posted this video. So let me go ahead and add that to the screen now so you guys can see this, okay? This is coming from Facebook, from a Facebook page. And I'm going to shout out uh, uh, Miss Head, Miss Tamika, looks like Head. She is the originator of this video. So let me go ahead and share this with you guys. And I am letting you know, this is fair use. This is fair use. And we're going to share this and then we'll have a conversation about this. All right, let's go ahead and get this played up. That church fight, y'all. That church. <laughs> Now I'm pausing it right here and I will run it back so you can see this. This part right here, now it shows that all of this took place in the service. 
in the church service, okay, in the church building. And it took place in the front, right at the altar in the front of the church. Um, I have not found out exactly where First Lady Loretta, Loretta, I'm sorry, I've got so much on my plate. I have not found out where First Lady Loretta Jones was sitting, but my thoughts are that she may have been sitting on the front row here. The picture that I'm showing you here on this freeze frame is showing the people, a couple of the men and women in the church physically carrying Loretta Jones off into a back area. They carried her from the front to the pulpit, up on the pulpit, and they're carrying her out through the back of the entrance of the pulpit. Now, I'm going to run this back, and then we're going to have more of a discussion on it, okay? That church fight, yeah. That church. Now, right here, they have Regina Adams. She is the one who attacked First Lady Loretta Jones. She is the one, they have her on the ground here, as you can see here with the young man in the, in the blue jeans and the black shirt. He's standing over her. They are handcuffing her at this time. They have her face down on the ground and they are handcuffing her, trying to get her restrained as the other people at the same moment were carrying away Bishop Noel Jones' wife, First Lady Loretta Jones. <laughs> Oh, with the black? Excuse me. At this point, Regina Adams is yelling and screaming to the people that are around her to get her purse. I don't know if she was directly screaming at one individual or at just anyone that would hear her, but you can hear her in the video screaming, get my purse. I'm going to continue playing this out, then I'll rewind it and play it in its full entirety, and then we'll have a conversation about this. Again, people, the Juice Radio and Talk Show are not having this conversation on here for laughs and giggles. This is a serious thing that happened on both sides on uh, Bishop Noel Jones' wife, First Lady Loretta Jones, and also on the attacker, Regina Adams. There was a lot of unanswered questions, and I believe conversations need to be had about stuff like this. To me, I've been getting a lot of people who have been inboxing me and emailing me of some things that they are having conversations about. However, I cannot clarify, nor can I verify the information. So unfortunately, until I can get some real proof behind some of these comments, I unfortunately cannot put them on our platform. But let me go ahead and continue this, okay? So we can talk about this a little bit further. Okay, so that's the video, that's the video, and we will go ahead and we will uh, run that back again. Um, you guys, there's been a lot of talks on both sides of this as to um, some people even saying that the young lady, uh, Regina Adams and the first lady, no Loretta Jones, know each other, have known each other. And there have been some people that are stating allegedly that there's this a long stemming uh, feud between the two of them. I have not been able to verify that information. So all it is right now is just information that people are talking about until we can get some valid proof. I cannot really discuss if there is a relationship between the two or was there a past relationship between the two. I don't have that clarity on that information. Um, I do understand that there is a whole bunch of uh, conversations about this, but the real topic about this is these type of things should not be happening regardless of whether there was a dispute with one another or there was a disagreement with one another. Physically attacking someone to the point where you going inside a building, any building, but it's 
especially a church building and physically attacking someone in front of a crowd of people, so much so that the attack was so violent on First Lady Loretta Jones that she was knocked unconscious according to reports. And that's why in this video, you will see or have seen that the people were physically carrying her out. They wasn't helping her walk out. They were literally lifting her up and carrying her out of the building. And I'm being told, yes, that she was unconscious. Now, I have not been able to find out any further information regarding her health. I have not seen anything posted by Bishop Noel Jones or his team, nor have I seen anything posted on Loretta Jones's uh, Instagram page. But you guys, this is serious. And a lot of people who are making fun and making light of this and making it to be giggles and, and, and all that kind of stuff, it is not something that I think will be laughed at because we have to think this happened to, to First Lady Noelle Jones, you know, and what if her life would have been taken because of an incident like this? This is something that we have to find out first the root of what happened. We don't know what the root is, but all we know is this attack happened and we need to find out what we need to do to stop stuff like this from going and happening and continuing to happen in the future. So I'll play that video one more time before we log out of here. But I do like to say hello to all my viewers who are in the comment section and hello to all of you who are viewing. If you have not subscribed to our channel already, Please remember to subscribe to our channel. You see the information on the screen here. That's our logo, the Juice Radio and Talk Show. We don't talk about the mess. We talk about the message in all of our channels and all of our information here. If you have not subscribed, please subscribe today to our YouTube channel as well as our Facebook channel. We're also on Instagram, TikTok, and Facebook. Um, you can go over there, look, up, look for our logo. Right here, you see it on the screen, the Juice Radio and Talk Show. Look for the red mug and microphone. I'm going to go ahead and jump over here in the comments section and say hello to all of you. Hey, CC. Thank you for being here today. Thank you so much. And also, hello, Robin. How are you doing today, Robin? Thank you so very much for being here. And hello, Latoya. Thank you so much for being here as well. Appreciate you being here as well. Also, let's say uh, hello to Overcomer I Am Six. Thank you, Overcomer I Am Six, for being here. Also, Overcomer I Am Six says, it doesn't matter what anyone is saying. That's assault wasn't warranted. It was not warranted. I agree wholeheartedly with you, Overcomer I Am Six. And thank you so much for being here in the chat. If you had not subscribed to the channel already, please go ahead and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Jai, thank you so much for being here. Yes, Jai, that is a lot that is going on in this video. And you guys, I am praying, still praying for Loretta Jones that um, her health is uh, going to be, she's going to be okay through all of this because we don't know if there was a concussion that was suffered. We don't know if anything else was, was damaged. We don't know. So we are really truly praying that she is um, going to be okay. And I have not heard if there's been any police arrests for Regina Adams right now. And I have not heard if there's been any charges that have been pressed um, from the, the Joneses to Regina Adams. I have not heard of that as well. Um, if I do hear of that, I will let you know that that information may not come in a video on my channel. It may come as part of our community tab on our YouTube channel. So you want to subscribe to our channel and go over to our community tab for future information. If I do find that information out and don't go live with it. Hey, Fifi, thank you for being here. She says, exactly. We can't normalize assault. It's never okay. Control your emotions. Absolutely. Control the emotions part of it, you guys. All right, I'm going to play that video one more time and then we'll go ahead and I'll give my closing thoughts and we'll be out of here for right now. But we do have other uh, programs coming up tonight. So click that notification bell so that you can be aware when we go live. <laughs> That church fighting, y'all. That church. Yeah. 
Oh, with the black? Excuse me. All right, you guys. So there you have it. Again, we are praying that Bishop Jones's wife, Loretta Jones, is going to be okay through this whole process. When we get more information, we'll share that with you. I want to shout out and thank you to the young lady that posted that on her Instagram page. And she was also not condoning the attack. She was saying that things should not happen like this, especially in church. And we also want to let you know that we agree that things like this should not happen. Again, prayers up for First Lady Loretta Jones, as well as Bishop Noel Jones. Now, some of you may have been asking, where was Bishop Jones during this whole incident? I have been told that it was during the time of the service where Bishop Jones would had gone from the platform to the back room, allegedly, to change his clothing. Um, and so he was not there, allegedly, when the attack took place. That is what I am being told, um, that that is the reason why, allegedly, we could not see him on there. I did not see him on that video, but that is what some people are telling me that he was um, in the process of changing uh, the clothes or the garments that he was wearing. All right. So you guys, again, prayers up for her, prayers up for her. And thank you so very much for watching. And you guys, come on now, let's control, let's control these reactions, you know, some of these things that's going on in our own heads. And we're not here for all of this. Uh, prayers again up to First Lady Loretta Jones, as well as Bishop Jones. All right. Thank you guys for watching. We'll be back with some more information. Remember, we're not here for the mess here at the Juice Radio and Talk Show. We're here for the message. You guys have a blessed day. Stay blessed. And we'll be back with some more great hot topics. Thank you so much. Have a great day. A heartfelt thank you to all of our subscribers who joined us for this video. If you have not already subscribed, go to our YouTube channel, The Juice Radio and Talk Show. Subscribe and click on the notification bell to be alerted whenever we go live. Join our private Juice community. Go to www.thejuicecommunity.com and sign up for free. Join us, The Juice Radio and Talk Show. We have our Money Monday financial series. It is a lunch and learn program at 12 noon Eastern Standard Time on Mondays. Also on Monday. Monday, we have our reality series and hot topics at 7 p.m. Wednesdays, we have Bible study at 7.30 p.m. Thursdays, we have church news at 7.30 p.m. We also offer motivational moments, happy marriage lifestyle, news from a godly perspective, movie reviews, as well as our single moms club, Let's Talk Ex Millennials, and of course, our Cooking with Clovis. Follow us on our podcast channel, The Juice Radio and Talk Show Podcast, streaming on all podcast platforms. A great big thank you to our podcast production company, Noye Podcast Productions. They can help you create your own podcast also. Contact them today at houseofnoye.com. Thank you to our sponsor, Custom Apparel Shop. Have them complete your embroidery work and silk screening needs. Do you need a logo created for your fashion apparel or company? Contact Israel Mason today. That is 786-657-7501. Thank you to our main sponsor, Truth and Triumph Ministries. Truth and Triumph Ministries, a ministry that cares about telling people the truth so they can triumph in life. Thank you, Truth and Triumph Ministries, for all you do.